going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. I'm going to be relentless. I don't care how many no's I encounter. I like something Isaiah Thomas said when he's getting ready for a basketball game. He said, I'm going to either shoot us in or shoot us out, but I'm not going to not do anything. And that's the way to go. You can't make a basket unless you shoot the ball. You can't hit a home run unless you take a swing at it. Most people won't even take a swing. Well, I probably won't make it anyhow. That's the conversation with him. They probably won't give it to me anyhow. If you want something, you've got to be relentless. You've got to decide, I deserve this, and I'm going to have it. And you go all out to get it. That drives you. The next thing is that when you want something out of life, you've got to be willing to go into action. Don't wait around for things to be just right. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Don't wait for the ideal situation. It will never be ideal. I was reading a book by Art Mandino called The University of Success. Read one line, gave me a chill. I didn't have to read anything else in the book. He said, many of us never realize our greatness because we become sidetracked by secondary activity. We spread ourselves too thin. Don't know how to say no. And we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. Hard to push yourself. Most people won't do that. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. The power to hold on in spite of everything. The power to endure. This is the winner's quality. The hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. This is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. When you're hungry, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. I'm going to do it until. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. When crises strike in your life, and in the Chinese language, crises mean danger, but it also means opportunity. And this is an opportunity for you to grow. And you've got to be so relentless regardless of what comes down the pike that you're always looking for a way to get over always looking for a way that you can break through always looking for a way that you can win always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow that's why you've got to learn to make a conscious deliberate determined effort to stand up inside yourself working on yourself watching that inner dialogue it will determine the quality of your life when you when you have something you want to do if you don't develop the courage to do that which has been given you to do and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream one idea can turn your life around deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts.